The chief executive of India's Infosys has stepped down. CEO Vishal Sika resigned after criticism from the company's founders. He will be replaced by Chief Operating Officer Pravin Rao. Shares of the company dropped just over 5% on the news. Infosys's founders have criticized the company for its acquisitions and executive pay. The company has been going through a difficult transition to digital services and data-based computing. Joining us now from London, Bloomberg's Caroline Hyde. So Caroline, talk to us about what's behind this. Of course, Sika has been under pressure, but why now? Yeah, under pressure from none other than the previous chairman, previous CEO, and one of the founders of Infosys. And it seems to have all come too much of two of a head at the moment. And actually, ahead of analysts' expectations and investors, as you see the share price fall so much, it seems as though he's left rather swiftly, more swiftly than many anticipated. But it's basically ever since he took the helm back in 2014, so three years ago, he was the first ever non founder CEO. Wasn't part of the club of the founders, some seven that set up Infosys back in 1981. And the criticism has been very harsh for him. Not everything ran smooth. And notably, it's really in the last year that out and out war was really on with the former billion, well, he's currently a billionaire, the co-founder of Infosys, Mr. Murphy. He in particular was taking aim at the CEO, Mr. Shizika, saying, accusing them of numerous, I say, government governance lapses. He was questioning the acquisitions, the executive pay. Notably, Vishal Sika therefore says, look, this was continuous noise. He gave a statement saying, I cannot carry on my job as CEO and continue to create value while also constantly defending against unrelenting, baseless, malicious and increasingly personal attacks. And interestingly, Emily, actually, the board has got his back. The board also said, look, this was demonstrably false allegations coming from Mr. Murphy. They said it harmed employee morale and it therefore led to the loss of a valued CEO. Meanwhile, Mr. Murphy himself seems to be unrepenting and is saying, look, I'm still worried about the deteriorating standard of corporate governance. Now, Caroline, Infosys is a company that's come under fire for taking jobs from American workers, you know, in response to President Trump's uh, concerns about widespread abuse of the visa programs. Infosys had said they would hire 10,000 U.S. workers, but this controversy has not only pre pressure on the stock, but also Sika himself. How has that played into this? Yeah, not a great time to be without leadership as well when you're trying to navigate these choppy waters, particularly in the U.S., particularly when if you dig into the terminal, you're looking at Bloomberg and go into FA, go, this is financial analysis, you see how important the U.S. is to emphasis. It gets about 62% of its revenue from the country overall. It's its number one area of revenue growth. And so it's not great when you're seeing a crackdown, in particular on the H-1B visa, as you mentioned. Many, therefore, having to be hired inside the United States. 10,000 is what they promised back in April of this year. Well, that's going to hurt your margins because it's more costly because, of course, many of these workers were coming in on temporary visas and were cheaper. That was a criticism coming from the US. But we know that also there's headwinds of people not spending so much on software at the moment that Infosys provides and automation. All of this means there's job cuts at Infosys.